Ads Coy, um, weather is absolutely miserable. As it has gone backwards again, it's uh, the wind, the wind chill, it feels like winter again. Honestly, it's so cold out there. Um, yeah, what we're doing today, um, I'm just doing a buffer up, and you can see it going in there. Just doing a buffer up of my water because I've got gill flukes and chukadina. Um, it's all happening, everyone's, everyone's having it. Beginning of spring, just happens every year. Parasites galore. Um, yeah, so what I'm, uh, well, this is the plan anyway. The plan is I'm gonna bash them with uh, PP first. And then I was about to buy some fluke solve, but I was like, 50 quid. And I remember I had this in the garage still. Now, I don't know if it's any good. Um, the ingredients, do you know, it actually does say on here that it's um, it's got an added right there, added pH buffer. So, so maybe I didn't need to buff my water up first. But the reason is, you, you buff your water. You want a good kh when you when you're doing um, medications for your koi. I don't 100% know why, but that's what it tells you. Just make sure your kh is good. Uh, anyway, yeah, so this this has got the flubendazole. Is that how you say it? I don't know. So I think it's like, is it flukem? It's just got that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it a go. You know, if it works, we may have found a budget fluke. Um, yeah, a budget fluke product. Um, so... Yeah, so 50 grams, 5,000 gallons. So, yeah, I mean, I've got enough to do two courses of this. And, yeah, and um, and have some left. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to crack on with these two right now. And I'll, uh, yeah, fingers crossed, eh? Right, okay. So sodium theosulfate, this is what you need. Um, about five, six quid on Amazon or eBay or wherever. Um, so it's 250 grams will do two liters of solution. So what you do, you just boil it up. And that's what it says to do on the pack. Just give it a good old boil and then uh, just stick it in a two liter jug. Then you've got, you've got two liters of dechlorinator or stop spending your money on sodium peroxide because it you know this does exactly the same stuff all the chlorinators will neutralize pp um if you want to stick the peroxides up to you but you want to save money this is the stuff you need all right there she is all good to go just uh yeah stick a label on it or something i've just put koi pond on it there's always one idiot that will end up drinking it you know, you know what the world's like, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'll just put it in the garage, make sure no one uh, that give you a headache, I'm telling you. Right, excuse the noise, I've got me uh budget super fish um air pump going just to sort this PP out. Um yeah, so boil definitely put your PP powder in boiling water, that's what it survives on the packet anyway. Um yeah, so that's bubbling away. I'm gonna let that bubble away till it's uh, till it's cooled down. Um, yeah, guys, right. So sodium theosulfate. Yeah, look. Yeah, I put a little bit of PP in there. Probably stain my bowl now. Okay, yeah. Just please stop buying hydrogen peroxide. This does exactly the same job. Yeah. Watch it. Is it changing colour? Put in there like that. Oh, sorry about 
Okay, that my GoPro started to freeze on me. Um, yeah, so the uh, sodium for your sulfate, yeah? You see how cleared up it's gone, yeah? Obviously it goes brown, brown tinge, but um, so you feel it was a clean up after. Um, I put half the PP in, so all the pumps are off, as in the filters, the filters are off. Um, I, I leave them off for the first hour. Um, fish are seem all right so far. Um, yeah, so what I do, I turn the pumps off, I just let it sit in the pond for an hour. And then when I put the second part in, um, that's when I turn the pumps back on, so that PPs, you know, absolutely everything. Uh, the fish seem all right, swimming about. Got my spitter on, extra uh, aeration. Um, I'm actually doing something with that spitter, so um, watch this space. Because um, I'm going to incorporate this. We're trying to get some plants in the pond. Yeah, I can't say too much. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, I'll come back to you later. Cheers. It's just like that, it's spring again. Huh. Unbelievable. Do have to put the uh, YMCA boots on now. Uh, soaking wet. Um, it's been going a couple of hours now. Looking good, still purple. Um, my pond needs. I need to jet wash this pond. Get all the cobwebs out. Repaint it. Re you know, I just loads to do. Um, just waiting for the weather. Uh, fish all the right still. <laughs> yeah, all fine. Um, so I won't be putting in the fluke treatment till tonight. Not tonight. Later on this afternoon. Um, it's only 10 o'clock, so yeah, I'm just gonna zap them in one one day. Um, you know, I don't advise it to everyone. But it's what I do, and it works for me. Um, wondering about all the shit down here. It's uh, just had double glazing installed, and. Uh, the dirty buggers didn't clean up after him, so it's gonna get me wet and dry back out. Neighbours are gonna think I'm a right weirdo. Oh look, he's, <laughs> he's hoovering his fake lawn. It's not even installed yet. Yeah, anyway, I'll speak to you later. Right, hello, it's four o'clock now. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna put a little bit of fresh water in. So if I do one easy pod clean, So uh, yeah, and then uh, yeah, what I do, I get the uh, sort of top up, get the flute dove in, and then uh, bosh, we're away. Alright, that's all I can do for, for now. Um, just doing a mini top up, really slow. Um, just a little bit of fresh water in there. Obviously, the flute treatment's in, and um, yeah, that's all I can do. So I'll give it a week and I'll do another spray. I say the um, UV's off, but it doesn't need to be for the clover leaf stuff. Um, I don't know. Clover leaf work? I don't know. I don't know, but um, I'll soon find out. And um, yeah, so I'll see you on the next one, guys. Um, enjoy the poxy weather. See you later.